Betty here. What's up, my carbless queens and kings? Welcome to Carblessly Delicious, where you can find inspiration for low-carb and keto-friendly recipes, such as this delicious fried cabbage, loaded with a colorful blend of bell peppers and carrots, making this cabbage super, super yummy. Go ahead and pull out your cutting boards and your favorite knives. We're going to get chopping away on our veggies. We want nice long slices like this here. We're using a combination of green, red, and yellow bell peppers. This is going to take ordinary cabbage, y'all, from boring and bland to something absolutely wonderful. Oh, you wait and see the delicious and super tasty flavor that these veggies are going to add to our cabbage. Oh, we Bell peppers have many dietary benefits as well. First of all, they're packed with vitamins A and C, low in calories, and provide a great source of potassium, and they contain antioxidants. Guys, this is one of the healthiest dishes you can eat, especially during a pandemic. The rich source of vitamin C helps to boost your immune system. Yeah, it helps war off diseases and attacks against your body. We're also going to slice our onions and carrots into long strips as well. And here you have it. Coat the bottom of your wok or large pot with extra virgin olive oil one and a half teaspoons of pure butter and don't you sneak and use margarine no 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 your cabbage will tell on you use pure butter go ahead and splash that butter in there along with one tablespoon of minced garlic and give it a nice stir be careful not to burn your garlic because garlic does burn easily so make sure your heat is on medium Toss in your onions, give them a stir. Once they become somewhat softened and a bit translucent, we can then combine the rest of our veggies. And goes our bell peppers and carrots. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Like a garden, such a beautiful variety of color. This is going to give your cabbage a nice little crunch. Not too crunchy. Turn up the heat a bit to medium high and let these beautiful darlings saute as we head back over to the cutting board to slice up our cabbage. Again, we want thin strips as we did with our veggies. Okay, y'all, let's check out our veggies. Oh, yes. Once they get softened like this, we can go ahead and combine our cabbage. Get them all in there. Don't worry, they'll shrink down a lot as they cook. For now, we're gonna wait before we incorporate any seasonings. Let your cabbage shrink down first, fold it over to blend it in with the veggies. And once it tenderizes, the seasonings will be able to adhere to that consistency. Okay, this is perfect. We can go ahead and add our seasonings now. This looks great. We're gonna add a quarter cup of avocado marinade oil. Two tablespoons of all-purpose seasoning. Two tablespoons of black pepper. And only one tablespoon of cayenne pepper. And this is what Patty LaBelle uses in her cabbage shawl, if you didn't know. Yes, Patty LaBelle, the famous R&B artist. I tried it and it's been tested and approved by me. Oh my God, thank you, Patty. I love it. I've been using it in my cabbage ever since. And you guys, you're gonna love it. Okay, pour your mixture over the cabbage and blend. Delicious. You see that smoke, that aroma going up? It's delicious. Yes, all that flavor. Yes, indeed, yes. Hey guys, this is totally optional here. I'm adding a little teaspoon of Truvia sweetener. 
made with a blend of stevia and erythritol, totally keto friendly, so don't worry, it won't spike your sugar levels. This step, however, can be totally eliminated, it's up to you guys, it's optional. It's how you like it. That's the great thing about recipes. You tweak it and you make it your very own. Oh, doesn't this look good? Let me set aside a portion for you, my darlings, because I thank you so much for tuning in. That's the least I can do is leave you with a plate of this delicious cabbage. Mmm, mmm. Oh my goodness. And guys, listen. This dish you absolutely cannot go wrong on. Do a taste test to make sure the veggies are as soft and tender or as crunchy as you like them to be. I like to leave a slight crunch on mine. The worst thing for me is soggy, mushy cabbage. Oh no. But the great thing I love is you can prevent that from happening, my darlings, by simply testing as you go along. Keep in mind, if it's too crunchy, you can always cook it longer. But if it turns out soggy, there's absolutely nothing you can do about that. So go ahead and test along the way. And do this, my lovely friends, and you will get a perfect pot of amazing cabbage each and every time. You're gonna love it. See you guys on the next one. Bye.